or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm so excited for this video. We have a cute little bookish vlog going on today. We have a like 10 book haul that I got from Book Outlet. We're going to an apple orchard. We have some cozy vibes going on. So stay tuned. And if you're new and you haven't started following me yet, please follow. Um, I post an array of content and I'm just getting back into filming and posting. It's going to be a lot of book stuff, my life and what I'm doing. And I really hope that you guys can join me. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get right into it. I'm just gonna grab books as they are laid out in the box. So I ordered 10 books from Book Outlet and I spent about $100 plus tax, so it was like 115 bucks. I've ordered on Book Outlet before one other time and I was actually pretty happy with the order. Um, I found them through, I think like an Instagram ad and I went online, did a little research, saw a bunch of people ordering from them and I was like, heck yes. Um, I usually get my books just from, you know, bookstores um, or HomeSense, which they usually at HomeSense, they have them on discount, but they're not like brand new books. Actually, some are because I've gone to the bookstore and the books are, the books there obviously are new, old, whatever. And I've gone to HomeSense and I've seen some new ones there too. So yeah, they actually have the good prices for them. Like they're heavily discounted. And same with Book Outlet. These books are usually like bargain bin books. Some of them could be damaged, so you kind of have to just take it as you get it. But some of them are like overstock or yeah, like for example, okay, this is the first one that I pulled out. Divine Rivals. So I have been wanting to read this book for a while. It's been on my... Um, my list of books that I want to read on Goodreads and as you can see here there's a little 20% off sticker this looks like it came from Target yeah it says Target on it so this is a book I guess that they had an overstock and it came from Target now the funny thing is we don't we don't have Target in Canada not from what I understand like all we did have Target for like a very short period of time back in what 2014 a bunch of Target stores opened and then they all closed so this must have came from Target in the US. Um, interesting. Anyways, so Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. It says, no God, no creature, no war can become can come between them. First, I just want to show this state of the book. So it is hardcover. I like hardcover books. I like softcover, but I do like hardcover. Some people really don't like hardcover, but I don't mind. Oh, I like that. That's so cute. So it has... I always, whenever I read my books that are hardcover, I'll take this off. So I'll just take this off. I won't throw it out. I will put it away in my bookshelf for now. And then I'll read it without the jacket on just so that this doesn't get ruined. Um, little trick I learned. So I don't know who, if anyone else does that, comment below and let me know if you do that. Because um, I do. All right, so what I've been told about Book Outlet is some of their books might have, like I said, a little bit of damage or something. And from what I understand from the last haul that I did, none of them were really damaged. This one has like a little bit of like, at the top, you can see it's a little bit, you know, crushed a little bit. There's a little bit of like rip there, but it's not enough for me to be like, I'm gonna pay full price for this. And it was not 20% off. I paid much less for this i'll have to grab my phone to check but i think this one was like 10.99 on book outlet and this retails in canada for 24.99 so that's like a like more than 50 percent off so i'm really excited about this one i don't even want to read the description i heard it's good i don't want to read too much about it i kind of want to go into it blindly and just enjoy it as i read it so there's my first book I'm just gonna pull up the next one. I don't even know what I'm pulling out. Let's see, what do we get? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited to read this book. It's Stephen King fairy tale, a novel. I was actually just watching a YouTuber's, like they're doing like a spooky read um, and they were reading this one and they said that apparently it's not that 
it's like the least scariest book that he has or something. I don't know. But I really like Stephen King. I haven't read one of his novels in a bit. They are always very, very long, which I know, but he makes such good books. The very, I don't, I don't know if this was the first book I read by him, but I read the book, The Dome, very, very long time ago when it first came out. Must have been like 2010 and I fell in love. I read that book like that. I ate it up. I couldn't get enough. And that book was like a thousand pages. So that was like my intro to Stephen King and I just love his books. This one is like just under 600. So this is gonna be a really fun one. I think I'm gonna, I hope I get this one for November because this will be a great one to read for November. Um, so this one just says, good, evil, a kingdom to save, monsters to slay. The stuff that page turners are made from. I grabbed my phone as well, it was charging. So I just wanted to tell you how much the books cost. Cause that's important to me. Like I wanna know how much things cost cause everything's so expensive these days. If I can save a buck or two, I'm gonna save a buck or two. Divine Rivals. So this is part of the Letters of Enchantment series. So I believe it's two, is it two or three? Okay, if you guys know if it's two or three, let me know in the comments. But that one was $10.49. And as I said, the retail value in Canada, because everything's so much more here, is $24.99. So it was more than 50% off. It was about 60% off. And um, yeah, I like that deal. Um, and then the Stephen King one, $10.99. And regular retail value is $27. You do the math. Next book. I'm just gonna pull out whatever I have here. Oh, what's this, what's this? Oh, the unwedding. Okay, so this one is, okay, okay. I've been looking at this book for a hot minute, okay? When it first came out of Reese's Book Club, I saw the cover and I just like fell in love. I was like, I like the way it looks. It. I don't know much about it, but it looks cool. Um, I need to get it now. I need to get it immediately. And then I saw the price, $38 Canadian. And I said, well, I'll just wait on that one. Then. I'll wait on that one until it's on sale. And I never really saw it on special. This book was $38 Canadian retail. And I got it for $12.99. So like, how could I not? So anyways, I checked Goodreads. The reviews for this one were not great. Okay, not not lovely. But again, I don't I don't always base my book buying purchases off that. I want to go into it with my own unbiased review. So I don't really read them. I just see what the rating is. Sometimes I do read them. I read like the first three, and then I'm like, okay, that's enough. But I don't know what it was like something caught my eye in this book so like the synopsis and i was kind of like i want to read this book so i'll just give you a little bit of their little caption it says something old something new something borrowed something blue something lost someone lost someone wed someone broken someone dead so that sounds i don't know it sounds interesting i want to read it it is a reese's book club of course the sticker can't come off i hate when they put the stickers on but it's cute like it looks very cute also the uh, book cover and everything is is pretty good quality like I don't really see any issues um, most of the books that I get on discount like at winners or home or at home sense they'll have like a little dot or a little dash and I'm like and then it's on sale so that's fine with me but this one actually is in great condition so the unwedding and that one is by Ali Conti let's see what I got next what do I got Ah, yes, this is how you lose the time war. I've heard such great things about this book. I'm really excited to read it. Um, it's written by Amal L. Motar and Max Gladstone. I guess it's a dual author. If I'm wrong, let me know. I just see two names on there, so I'm just gonna say that. It's a small book, like it's very, it looks like it's gonna be an easy read. Okay, there's a little bit of like, the book got a little crushed there, but that's all right, that's okay. It was on sale, so I'll take that. This one was going for $7.99. Retail value at a Canadian bookstore, $22.99.
So, I mean, that's a big difference. Um, I did read the synopsis of this one. It sounds great. There's some mystical, not mystical, but you know, like mystical fantasy elements to this. Um, I'll read the, the back of it is very quick. It just says, well, book list says a twisting sapphic time travel fantasy love story that never stops surprising. Readers will reach the end and want to turn back to the start. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, but it sounds great. So I would love to, I would love to hopefully read this one in my next, in November, like the next month. Hopefully it shows up on my TBR because I don't want to wait too long. This one sounds great. And then I can do a little review on it and let you guys know what I think. All right, next one, next one, next one. I don't know why I'm closing my eyes, but I'm really excited. Okay, I got this one. Oh yes, yes, the hand, the housemaid. Okay, so I actually have never read a book by Frida McFadden, but I've heard that this is one of her best books and some of the books that she has are not that great people have said but i heard this one was great i also i think heard they're turning this one into a movie like the whole series i think there's three books that go along with this series so i was like i gotta read this before it comes out as a movie if it if i'm wrong please let me know fact check me guys but um yeah i saw this one at the bookstore indigo the other like recently and i was gonna buy it and then i was on book outlet and it was there this one i got for 6.49 and it goes for 16.99 so again another more than 50 percent off discount it was like 60 percent. i'm actually listening to uh the teacher right now on audiobook on spotify I don't know if it's the way the person's narrating the book or it's the book, but I'm just getting annoyed. I think it's the person that's narrating it. Her voice, she's getting like way too emotional and into the book. Like the way she's reading it is not how I would read it. So I don't love reading audiobooks all the time, but um, I like reading, I like listening to the book like when I'm driving or going to, or like, you know, working or whatnot um, in the shower or whatever, going for a walk. So. I thought I'd give it a shot and so far it's an interesting story but I just don't like the way it's being narrated let me know if you guys feel the same way about these books that are narrated on Spotify or audiobook like I feel like there's just something about the way the person's doing it that's like annoying okay let's get into the next one <gasps> the brutal prince by Sophie Lark and this one is about so they're a match made in hell, is what it says in the back. So the Griffith, Griffins and the Gallows have been battling for control of Chicago's underworld for generations. Their rivalry has always been flammable, but it reignites with a furry, with a fury when Ada, the youngest and wildest Gallo sibling, crashes a party at the Griffin mansion and accidentally sets fire to the library. To save to stave off all-out war, her father quickly arranges a marriage between her and Callum Griffin, the eldest son and heir to the Irish Mafia. I'm not even going to read it all. I know most of you probably read it, but I'm really looking forward to this one. This one that sounds great as well. This one was uh, $9.50, $9.49, and in Canada, this doesn't even have the Canadian price. It only has the American price, which is $17.99 US, but... In Canada, usually our books go for like at least $5 more than that. So I bet you this one would have been like $22.99 in Canada. So this one looks like an easy read too. Less than 300 pages. Um, looks like it has like pretty large writing. Lots of dialogue. So I feel like it's going to be a quick read. So I'm not like in a rush to read the whole series. So if I don't have it for you know, next month, it's fine, but I'm looking forward to that. And I think that book outlet has most of them on there. So yeah, what do we got? Oh, this one is one that I just found. Okay, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dirty. Like why, like why? I'm gonna, I'll clean it, I'll clean it. It's fine, it's fine. There's a sticker on it too, I'm gonna get that off. This book is called The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker and uh, when I was online looking this up on Goodreads I think it is part of a series as well I don't remember the name of it like what series it is but the story sounds great Calla Fletcher wasn't even two when her mother took her and fled Alaska 
Unable to handle the isolation of the extreme rural lifestyle, leaving behind Calla's father, Ren Fletcher, in the process. Calla never looked back, and at 26, a busy life in Toronto, that's why I got it, because I live near there, um, is all she knows. But when Calla learns that Ren's days may be numbered, so that's her father, she knows that it's time to take to make the long trip back to the remote frontier town of her birth to attempt to fix their strange relationship. I love books like that. Like it sounds like it's like gonna be sort of a, you know, there's gonna be stuff about family. There's gonna be clearly it sounds like well, it doesn't sound like it. It said that it's a romance, so there's romance elements to it. But it sounds like an adventure, you know. And I like adventure type books, so I'm trying to clean it. This is the first one I got where it was like a little bit dirty, but like the back's fine. There's no issues. Like if the, you know, everything looks great, but it retails for $24.99 and I got it for $8.99. Yeah. So that's like crazy. Okay. We have three books. <laughs> I love this. It's so much fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is <laughs> this book. I'm really excited for this one. So this one is by author Kennedy Ryan, and I have heard nothing but amazing things about this author. I actually am a little embarrassed that I haven't read one of her books yet. And her books always get really great reviews. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, on the front it says, emotional, raw, real, and addictively delicious. This is such a beautiful cover, by the way, I must say. This one says on the back, their love was supposed to last forever. But wait, but when but when life delivered blow after devastating blow, Yasmin and Josiah Wade found that love alone couldn't solve or save everything. It couldn't save their marriage. So I'm looking I'm looking forward to this. I, like I said I'm not like a huge crazy obsessed person about romance, but I think from what I've read about um, Kennedy Ryan's books, they have they go deep. They have depth. They're intricate they're messy they're fun they're beautiful so yeah i'm really looking forward to this book so this one was 21.99 canadian and i got it for 8.99 it's great okay i have two books left and of course i saved the best for last ah! <laughs> oh my god actually this is in great condition this is in great condition this is so exciting. So I found this book and read the synopsis and I was with my sister and we were at a, another bookshop and I was just like, I have to read this book. I know it's like super popular and everyone's read it, ah, it's up. but I got to read it. I got to read it for myself. I got to see what all the hype's about. I think I'm going to love it. So this has about 500 pages. I think this is going to be such a great read. I don't mind reading this whenever, but it would be awesome if I could add that to my November TBR, but we'll see what I pull out because I don't know. Um, and this is a hardcover, so hardcovers are always more expensive in Canada, but this one was $34.99 retail. And I got it for $11.49. And I got the second one. Okay, look. Oh, there's a little bit of a rip there. You see what I'm saying? So that's what that's the stuff. Like I could probably email them and be like, there's a tear in my book, but I take the covers off anywho. But yeah, so I got the second book in the series. So this is Iron Flame. So this is the second book to Fourth Wing. So excited to read it. The map. This one's cool though, because they put it on the cover. Whereas the other one, it's like just in the page. I love this because actually I do reference the map a lot. Like I kind of have to go in and be like, wait, where is that? Where is this one again? And it actually does help me set like the scene and it helps build the world for me so yeah i'm so excited for these books and like i said they go for 34.99 canadian no this one goes for 39.99 40 dollars i got it for 11.50 so you know we're done we, we went through the whole box we got our books and stay tuned guys because the next books that I'm gonna be the next video is gonna be my November TBR and that's gonna be fun so let me see here all these freaking books this is so this is so sick I'm so excited I love books you know I started reading when I was young like most people do but I never really stopped I've taken breaks 
but I've never stopped reading. I love reading. It's my favorite thing of all time. Okay. We got our books, guys. We got our haul. Yeah. Thank you. 